Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. Hi, I'm Peter. My brother is standing there creepily. <laughs> Eating a sandwich. What are you doing there, Steve? Oh, he's disappeared. Okay. Anyways. I feel like he's listening. Whatever. Okay. Uh, so, it's Sunday, and I'm bored because I'm waiting for the my dad side of the family Zoom call, which is in like 30 minutes. Uh, so, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to film the book's YouTube video for next week. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, still can't find my glasses, so I can't do any reviews or anything like that still, which does kind of suck. Uh, but I did find my spares, luckily, so I can sort of do them. They're just really bulky and very difficult to use, because they're really uncomfortable. But, yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, so if you haven't seen the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing a book talk on one of my all-time favorite, well, sorry, my all-time favorite series, its main character, Sophie Foster, from Keeper of the Lost Cities. <sighs> um, two days ago, I filmed a video, which for you guys would have been last week, I filmed the video and posted it on another main character book talk on Rand Thor, uh, which was mostly things that I did not like about that character. Uh, and I also filmed a Plans YouTube video on the Keeper of the Movies channel, uh, which was basically me talking about the video plans I had for the future. That one, it was kind of... I didn't really know what else to film because I, I couldn't do a review, so I was just like, you know what, I can't think of anything else. I haven't watched anything recently enough. I'm just gonna do this. So, it wasn't the intended video for that day. The intended video for that day was the Iron Man 2 review, but unfortunately, since I cannot find my glasses, still, um, it did not happen. It should come out this week, or next week. Yeah, it's still this week, anyways. Because it's Sunday, and that's this coming Saturday. So, it should come out for you guys tomorrow. Uh, but if it doesn't, then... Probably means I still can't find my glasses, which would not be good. Yeah, definitely would not be good. Anyways, the big problem with my spares are they, they slipped on my face, so I can't wear them very often. It's gonna make school very difficult. Eh. Anyways, so, yeah, the gaming videos, I'm still releasing Little Nightmares playthroughs. I've finished filming it, and I'm just posting it week after week. You were down here the whole time. Mm -hmm. Leave. Dude. <laughs> he was in the food storage room over there, grabbing bread and listening in. I was deleting um, the video off this off this SD card from Friday. No, yesterday. Sorry, Saturday. Saturday's video. Um, and he just walks in the room, sta stands at the door, and he's just like, I'm gonna "Eat a sandwich and watch you film." Yeah. Anyways, so I'm going to be talking about Sophie Foster from Keeper of the Lost Cities. Staying true to this, this camera's currently stacked on a pile of books. And I have another book right here, and I think another one behind it. 
Hmm. Uh, next week, though, I'm doing seven days without a phone and social media in general. So actually, I'm not going to be able to do the Iron Man 2 review video, which I just realized. So no, that will not be coming out next week. Uh, and in that case, yeah, there will be no video on Keeper of the Movies channel next week, I've decided. Because with seven days with no social media or anything like that, um, not counting this. Like, no phone, no Netflix, none of that, uh, because I've been using it way too much of late. I'm not going to be able to make a video for that, uh, but there will be this video, obviously, um, and I already have a gaming video filmed, so I just have to hop on the computer really quick and post both of these on those two days, uh, but yeah. Okay, Sophie Foster. So, <laughs> Sophie is the main character of my favorite series, Keeper of the Lost Cities. Uh, and... Well... As I voiced in my last video, uh... I'm not a huge fan of main characters. But... Sophie is kind of an exception to that. I, I love her. Okay, I do. But... Like all characters, there, there are some things that bother me about her. Like, Keith Sensen is my favorite character. But he makes really stupid decisions a lot. <laughs> Just like, Sophie is one of my favorite characters, and yet... <sighs> Child. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Sophie... She's very oblivious to a lot of things. She's not uh, as oblivious as, say, you know, the council. Frick you. I hate you. The council. Except for Orali. I mean, she's pretty much fine. Orali. I say Orali. Deal with it. Anyways. Kenrick was amazing. And, oh, spoilers for all of Keeper of the Lost Cities books 1 through 8.5. Uh, he was great until he died. That was sad. Uh, Orelli's fine. I really liked her. I still really like her, but, uh, she did do one thing that I didn't, uh, really like, and that was the fact that she's Sophie's mom and didn't tell her. I mean, I'm glad that she is Sophie's mom because, like, She's gotta be the one that's always there for her and stuff like that, and that's that's good with me. But I do wonder who is Sophie's father. I have no theories. I had so many theories for her mother, or Allie being one of them, but all the people that I thought were her father are dead. Or 100% or nearly 100% confirmed not to be her father and I'm just like who is it who is your father Sophie? I have no idea and it's really frustrating <laughs> I need to have this discussion with another fellow keeper fan I know a few. Only one of them really talks to me a lot, but I know a few. <laughs> Anyways, uh... Yeah, so Sophie is incredibly oblivious, and... It can be frustrating a lot of times. It can lead her to make some dumb decisions about plans. It can lead her to misinterpret situations with friends. And let's let's talk about the love triangle for a second. 
Sophie's obliviousness in this situation, I think, is one of the big reasons uh, why those kinds of things don't work out for her very much. Because she's so oblivious that she doesn't see... Keith. She only sees Fitz. I'm just like... Sophie, please, listen. I seriously want to know what's going to happen. I, I swear I was going to punch Shannon Messenger in the face. Like, I wanted to at the end of 8.5. That is... Okay. Why must you torture me? <sighs> you took my favorite character and made him go away. We're almost as bad as Brandon, as Brandon Paul. At the end of Five Kingdoms. Or at the end of Dragon Watch Book 2. I would say worse, actually, or, or on level with the Seth thing. <sighs> Why? Why? Okay. <sighs> yeah. I think I cried when I read that. And again, I am a very emotional reader. a personality test this morning because you know I can and apparently I'm a mediator uh, I think it's ISNJT is that what it is I'm the the T side of it not the assertive side more introverted anyways it's very accurate but whatever anyways usually a very emotional reader, so it's not really a surprise that I cried. Literally, okay, very big spoiler for Dragon Watch right here. So maybe skip forward, like, a minute, if, if you haven't read Dragon Watch yet. When Brandon Mole made Seth lose his memory, I mean, he has it back now, which is, which is great, but when he made Seth lose his memory, I lit, it was Christmas time when I read it and nobody else was home. I screamed at the top of my lungs, threw the book at the Christmas tree, and started crying. <laughs> yes, I did that. I'm not proud of it, but I did. <laughs> I have thrown a book across the room several times. Certain people have gotten mad at me for that one. Sorry. <coughs> mm. Yeah. Anyways. So. This is a very long video. Because I have gone on several off tangents and I'm 14 minutes in. Okay. Let's just move on. Okay, so Sophie's oblivious, right? Her obliviousness is the main thing that I don't like. Then, she can also make some really stupid decisions sometimes. And it bothers me. I mean, sometimes she's, usually she's great. I love her with all of my art. She's amazing, one of my favorite main characters, but... She can just, she's so oblivious all the time, and she just, she can make some really bad decisions at times, which, which bothers me. Which, I mean, obviously everybody makes mistakes, but sometimes she can make some really stupid decisions. I mean, it doesn't happen too often, 
usually, but she can make some stupid decisions. <sighs> yeah. Let's see. What was the third one again? Oh yeah. Please do not hate me for saying this. Sophie Foster is overpowered. Too overpowered. I'm sorry. But she is too overpowered. And it, it kind of bothers me at times. She should not exist in in this universe. Yes, in case you hear clicking a lot in this video, that would be, uh, that would be my pen. I don't, I'm not even sure if it's my pen, it's just a pen that's down here. I used to write things. Anyways. Come back. Okay. Yeah, Sophie Foster is overpowered. That is my opinion. And honestly, it's kind of a fact. She is... Too overpowered. Too overpowered is kind of my opinion. Overpowered is a fact. She's overpowered. And in my opinion, she's too overpowered. And I think that if she really knew how to use her abilities, she could take down the Never Seen. Pretty easily. I'm just saying. She's that overpowered. And it is convenience for the Never Seen and inconvenience for the black swan that she is not knowing that she makes mistakes and that she she does these things i mean she could take them down i'm i'm telling you if they weren't how they are she could take them down pretty easily yeah so those are my three things. She is oblivious, that I do not like about her. She is oblivious. She can make some really dumb decisions sometimes, and she's too overpowered. Overall, I love the character. She's one of my favorite main characters in the series. Here is my pen. <laughs> but, I mean, overall, she's over not in the series. She is one of my favorite main characters of all time. I love her. She's awesome, okay? I wish she was my best friend. She is not. She's a fictional character, but whatever. We don't talk about that. <coughs> but anyways, love Sophie Foster. She's one of my favorite main characters to this day. But she does have those three little things. And there are probably more that I just didn't think about, but those are the three, like, the big things that I... That I don't really, especially the ble the oblivious one. How are you so oblivious? And why are you so overpowered? I mean, I know why you're overpowered, but whatever. <laughs> Genetically modified elf. I almost said human. Whatever. She's not a human. Anyways, so yeah. Those are the things that I dislike about Sophie Foster. And I pretty much like everything else, unless there are some things that I did forget about. But yeah. There are too many good things for me to list right now. Whereas with people like Rand, I like almost nothing about them. And so I can just go for the things I do like about them. And then go on a huge rant about all the things I don't. <laughs> it's fun. Because <laughs> they're fictional. I, w I wouldn't do that to someone in real life. I wouldn't. At least not intentionally. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye.